growing up in this area, I always felt very, very fortunate to live here between English Moon River Falls, Notch Hill, Little Mountain, uh, Enos Lake, all these beautiful, beautiful areas. Just growing up here was an absolute blessing and I feel like, you know, it's my responsibility to share this area with the world. The Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region is one of over 650 biosphere reserves that UNESCO, the United Nations Scientific and Cultural Organization, has designated worldwide. It's really kind of like a stamp from UNESCO saying this place has significance internationally because it has certain really special biological regions, certain really special ecosystems that we want to protect, but we don't want to get people away from these areas. We want them to be a part of them to help conserve them. That designation was granted 15 years ago, but since then, a UNESCO review identified a lack of participation and even general knowledge about the biosphere region. There were some things to work on, some challenges like collaboration with First Nations and engaging the community better. VIU and the City of Parksville, along with a number of other regional partners, co-managed the Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region. Vancouver Island University uh, is a really active partner in the biosphere and uh, the biggest thing that they did was to found the Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region Research Institute, which we'll call MABRI from now on. <laughs> and uh, MABRI is sort of a, it's, it's a way to get students uh, faculty members, anybody doing research in the region involved and participating in conserving these ecosystems, in learning more about sustainability, and so that's housed at Vancouver Island University. Wow. One of the first research projects being undertaken is Digital Stories, a documented collection of individuals' connections to the land being produced by VIU right, students. We really wanted to get a feel for why these people are so passionate about being in this area, living in this area, working in this area, and what made them stay here, what made them come here. Uh, how do they find it different from elsewhere in Canada, elsewhere in the world? What makes this area so unique and so special? Why should it have this UNESCO designation? What makes it so amazing? The Mount Aerosmith Biosphere Region covers about 1,200 square kilometres. The habitats and ecosystems range from old growth forests, steep mountain slopes, lakes, and some offshore islands in the Salish Sea. Due to various activities, be it logging or the growth of communities, building of houses, that sort of thing, it has been threatened in recent years, water supply has been threatened, and so I believe that that's a very, very strong case for sort of need to take action to preserve the beautiful area that we live and play in. I've just learned so much. I, it's hard to describe. I mean, I've probably learned more doing this project than I did in my entire degree, and I'm not exaggerating. I've got to hike up Mount Aerosmith. I've got to be down and experience scuba diving, by, you know, from Kathleen's perspective. She took videos of us underwater. Spectacular. I've grown up, you know, on the island myself, lived here forever, and I didn't know about so many of these special places in my own backyard. So as a student researcher, it was a fantastic opportunity to become involved with the community and talk face to face with people who are really passionate about their environment and get a sense of that myself. Digital Stories, a 20 minute video, will be released in the fall of this year. What did you think of the interview? Yeah, I thought you it went well. People like videos, people like illustrations, you know, you can tell them all this stuff, but to provide the imagery, like everything around here is just so spectacular. I mean, I don't know. I, I just I just get so happy thinking about making this video. Biosphere regions inspire a positive future by connecting people in nature today. And so by connecting students, faculty, community members with the land, we're really living up to that mandate. Or go on Shaw TV. I'm Annette Lucas.